Assalamu alaikum and I welcome you all to Mashal Tariq Knowledge Venture channel. In this video, we will solve questions from exercise 7b, chapter 7 of maths D4 book that is vectors in two dimension. So this exercise is related to vector addition and subtraction. Let's start. Question number 1, simplify the following. So we need to just add 2 plus 7 and 4 plus 5. It means 9 and 9 is the answer. 3 minus 4 minus 1 minus 5 plus 1 minus 4 so my, minus 1 and minus 4 will be the answer of B so you just uh, simply add uh, in the part C also now what is part uh, question number 2 if A is equals to 4 and 3 and B is equals to minus 7 and 2 and C is equals to 1 and minus 5 determine whether A plus B is equals to B plus A and determine determine whether a plus b plus c is equals to a plus b plus c. So uh, the, the answer of a and b will be yes. It will be proved just by adding these 4 minus, uh, four minus uh, 7 you will get minus 3 and uh, 3 plus 2 you will get 5 and again if you add minus 7 plus 4 you will get minus 3 and again 2 plus 3 you will get 5. So in both the cases you will get the same answer because the vector addition is uh, associative as well as uh, is uh, also commutative. So question number 3 the diagram shows a quadrilateral P L M N. Simplify L M plus M N. So in vector uh, addition, if we have the middle, the middle point is repeating. So we will take this letter as a start and we will take this letter as the end. So the resultant of L M plus M N will be L N. Now, if you just have a look over here, what will be the resultant of Pn plus Lp? Here, over here, we don't see a repeating point, uh, but we have a repeating point at the uh, start and at the end point of the second vector. So, what will part be? We will take L as the start point and we will take N as the end point for uh, writing the uh, answer of this question. So it will be LN. For this it will be LN also and for this it will be LN also. Now what, uh, how can we solve this? So question number 3 part C is LN plus NM. So if you just have a look over here, N and N is repeating. So the resultant of LN plus NM will be L. M and L M plus M P again M will be repeating uh, in uh, uh, this L N uh, plus L M plus M P so the resultant will be L P okay now what is Question number 4. Simplify the following in this also you will just need to add 12 minus 12 0. 6 minus 6 plus 6 0 the answer of this will also be 0 and again the answer of this will also be 0 now copy and complete the following 9 minus 9 0 plus 1 minus 1 0 minus 3 plus 3 0 minus 7 plus 7 0 plus q minus q 0 p minus p 0 now simplify the following a b plus b a b a will be 0 because it is the same vector in the opposite direction so it will cancel out so the resultant of question number 6 part a will be 0 similarly p q and q r you will get p r and the resultant of p r plus r p again it will be 0 now m n plus l m over here look, look these are repeating so we will take l n l n l n plus n l will also be zero so question number six the answer of all parts will be zero question number seven find the vector find find the vector that is marked with double arrows it means these 
so we vectors if you remember the rules of the vector addition or subtraction that we need if they are both are positive that the direction must be in uh, the continuation form okay they must be in a continuation form whether the thing is the opposite in case of the subtraction that if the two vectors are being subtracted from each uh, other their direction are not in the the arrow, the vectors direction are not in the same direction but they will be in the opposite direction so let's solve question number 7 part a look over here p and q are not in the same direction so e either p or either q must have the negative sign so how can you recognize there is the tip in order to write down the vector addition or subtraction of the resultant the negative sign must be placed with the vector which has the same direction as the resultant vector let me explain to you one more time that if you are dealing with the subtraction of the vectors we need to write the negative sign with the vector which has the same direction as the resultant vector so what is the resultant vector over here so which vector has the same direction as the uh, um, resultant vector it is the q so of question number 7 part a will be p minus q now what about part b if you just have a look over here you can see only the uh, it is same as the part a only the direction of the resultant is changed so uh, which vector is, has the same direction as in this question it is p so part b will be q minus p now what about over here which again it is not the addition for part c which vector is in the same direction as the resultant it is a so the answer of c will be b minus b minus a now what about d r in the b and a are in the same direction okay so it is uh, the addition of the vector it will be b plus a so the resultant so the answer of part d will be b plus a or a plus b now what about e just have a look both the vectors are not in the same direction so it is the subtraction of these two vectors now which vector has the same direction as the resultant it is r so the resultant will be s minus r now what about f both the vectors are in the same direction so it is the addition of these two vectors so the answer of f will be s plus r g again just have a look they are all m n and the arrow vector are all in the same direction so what we will take the negative sign with both of these vector in order to represent the resultant vector so g will be minus m and minus m and minus n now what about h again these these both m and n are not these both m and n are not in the same direction so which vector it has the same direction as double arrow it is m will be n minus m number 8 it is simple 5 minus 3 2 Four minus two, two minus one, minus one minus minus plus. So minus one plus three, two minus three minus minus plus four, seven. Okay. So in this way we will solve this question. Eight 
part d 4 7 minus minus 2 5 minus 3 minus 6 so it will become 4 plus 2 7 minus 5 minus 3 minus 6 so you will have 6 and 2 now 3 Minus six, and again you will get six minus three, two plus six. The answer will be six minus three, three, and six plus two, eight. So in this way you will solve.